my desk because somebody on the internet cares about my desk. So there it is. This desk was purchased at a um, used furniture store in Vermont. And it was originally used as Spanx's desk and, and I, I thought, you know, I could use it because it's nice and huge. Also, I like the fact that there's no skirt under the desk so I don't slam my knees into it. It's quite, uh, quite nice wood desk. All right, so there's plenty of things surrounding my desk. I'll cover them all right now, starting with the stuff in the side because that, you know, goes along with my computer. Right over here on the side, I keep my training wheels. I guess it is uh, the Arturia Mini Brute. It's an analog synthesizer. It's kind of fun. It's not plugged up right now, but you know. Uh, then we've got the Audio Engine A5 Plus. I freaking hate these things so much. They buzz like crazy, and apparently that's a big problem on the line. Just they, they're not even good for, they're okay for near field. They're not monitors, but they were cheap. So can upgrade those soon. Don't buy those. All right, down here. Here's where I keep all the things that remind me of how terrible my life is right now because I really want to use these things more often, but I'm so freaking busy. Anyway, all these things will work with my PC and we've got all the different adapters and stuff. Oh, by the way, this is the best controller ever made. That's just, this is it right there. The best controller ever made. Um, and there's your adapter for that. We've got lots of different adapters. Even got the Wii stuff. And yes, hey man. Um, this all does work with the uh, computer. This one here is Bluetooth and bought this in China for like, I don't know, eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. So that's where I keep all of that. Uh, not much down here, I don't think. Oh, hey, these are nice. These are snazzy. Um, the Sony uh, MDR7506, these things are some of the most neutral headphones on the planet. And Lion Mod Mic, this is the newest version. I'm gonna get that up and running pretty soon. Test it out on my new motherboard. A lot of motherboards, if they have bad mic inputs, sound terrible. Hey, it's a, it's an O2 amp. All right behind my monitor, there's a Yeti hiding over here. The thing's way too massive to have in front of the table, you know, all, all the time. Got a phone there hooked up to a Google Voice number. And uh, then I've got this really shitty stand that I found in a junk room in Wendell's office. There we go, fixed it for, there, perfect. But it's nice because, you know, we can handle a vertical monitor like this. Let's come on over here and uh, take a look at the, the main desk. All right, as far as my monitors go, I have this one vertical. Uh, it's an Asus, it's a terrible 24 inch 1080p monitor. It's one of the worst TN panels I've ever seen. As far as viewing angle, it's, it's like zero viewing angle. It's obnoxious. This is the new 4K 39.5 uh, inch Korean monitor. Uh, there's a link to the video here. So check that out. I've also deglassed this. As you can see, there's no glass on this. So there would be tons of glare because of all the windows right now, but the glare is almost not even there. And uh, we have a video on how to, you know, deglass yours as well. On top there, you can see the, uh, the the Wii sensor bar, and that's a USB Wii sensor bar. I guess I could throw a link in the description as well to that if you want to use your Wii remote. One tip is get back from your computer. If you try to use it and your hands are like right up here, it's not going to work because it wasn't designed to work like that. It was designed to work with you standing three or four or five feet back. So get the hell away from your computer, scoot back a bit, and then it will work just fine. I, I cursed so, for so long until I figured that out. Last monitor over there is an X-Star 27-inch 1440p monitor. It's my favorite 27-inch monitor. It's also one of the cheapest, just one of the basic X-Stars, but it doesn't have a very bad backlight bleed or anything. So I, this used to be my main monitor until I got the 4K monitor. All right, now let's go and take a look at all of the stuff on the desk. All right, Arturia Analog Lab. And this is, you guys are gonna find a theme here. This is something else I don't love, but it's kind of useful. The buttons are too almost rubbery and gummy. So it's impossible for me to get the timing right when I'm pressing them because of the, they just, yeah, they feel really mushy. The, uh, the Mini Brute's way better. So I might try to figure out how to use that one as a mini controller instead of this. It's just a mini controller. Uh, there we go, here's my, um, DT880s, Biodynamics on a cheap headphone stand I bought on eBay. And then we've got our GameCube controller adapter right there. Since it's my favorite controller, it's the only one that stays plugged in. This is a uh, just junk, you know, flash drives and, hey look, it's a RS-232, um, you know, converter there, female to female. Then we've got the uh, quad capture right here and I uh, use that for some of the audio recording. It also powers, there doesn't power, it also um, is in control of the speakers that I have. So there's that. I don't use it all that much, but I like the ASIO drivers. I use this pretty much all day long. It's the objective, um, you know, O2 amplifier and DAC. And got the fat plug right there. 
So quite enjoy that. Moving on over here. This is my keyboard from, it's a custom keyboard. I think it's based on the code too. Um, but anyway, this is from Waz Keyboards and we went just completely all blackout. I got this mainly to piss off people who come over and all that sort of thing. And then of course we've got the uh, the custom keys here, you know. I figured I'd do WASD and then green, whatever. Escape key. That's what it is. <laughs> all right, here's my mouse and mouse pad. Who cares about any of that? The main thing that we have here is this fan on the floor because it's insanely hot and people here have no AC because they're insane. So anyway, this is my mouse and mouse pad. It's uh, Zowie Spawn. I've got to get rid of it because it's thin and it has this, the bottom is plastic. After it gets some dust on it, it moves around. So not the best design there, but they do have some of the best designs uh, for their mice. This is the, um, it's a model price edition because it was like 25 bucks, but it's the Zoe EC1 Evo essentially. And uh, it's just a really nice mouse with one of the most accurate sensors on the planet. Coffee is a very important thing to have. So uh, these are hand cut in Vermont and like all that artisan stuff, you know? Yeah. And it's just a tree. There's no finish on it. Some people are like, oh, I could do that myself. Well, go ahead and do it, man. Uh, behind that, I've got my Lexar multi-card reader thing. It's okay. It's kind of fast, whatever. It's USB 3. And then back here, we've got our just hub. It's got like six ports and two of them are powered there. Just USB 3 hub up on the desk. It's very handy. This reminds me of how sad I am. I keep this on my desk because it reminds me of when I started playing Dungeons and Dragons. It's with the original color that I had. Uh, and I found this and I was like, whoa, it's the exact dice that I used to have pretty much. And uh, yeah, I look at it and think, damn, I wish I wasn't working so much. I wish I could play. And, and it, it keeps me sad all day. So I keep it here. Quit your job. Quit my job. All right, I quit. Bye guys. Uh, there's a webcam here. I have no idea what the hell it is. It's a Logitech that was in the bottom of a box. When I opened it, I was like, here it is. It's a C310. C310. All right, there's our computer sitting on the carpet. Please do not say anything about the cable management. We're going to be moving soon because this is a freaking rental and I'm not going to manage this. Once I get a real place, I'll manage it. Oh, by the way, that's our sub over there. Mono price, 12 inch. It's not too bad. It's like a hundred bucks. Might upgrade to the 10 inch soon because it has a tighter kick for metal. Anyway, shut up about the cable management. I can already hear you guys. That's, uh, you know, the Define R5. And that's the LG G4 laying there on top. It's not my daily driver, but I'm going to be making a video of it as my daily driver to test it out. And then there's the other speaker just sitting there because it's uh, it's a terrible spot for it, but they don't sound that good anyway. So if they sound good. They just buzz a lot. So that's my desk, mostly utilitarian. I would love to swap it out for monitor arms and do all kinds of crazy things and get rid of the stuff that I don't like. And that'll all come soon enough. I'll probably end up waiting until we get our final place. We are always in a state of flux and, you know, that's just the way it works. But feel free to comment on anything. And I'm all open for, you know, suggestions. If you have some things that would improve my, my desk and my life, let me know. So throw it in the comments. And uh, look for videos on some of the individual things very soon, like the LG G4. Uh, my build video is coming up in a few days. So, uh, yeah, now that the office is back in business, we are back in business. See you guys in the comments. Yeah.